Hi, welcome. In my previous video, we have discussed what is an electric flux and how to measure electric flux that is electric flux density. So we are making use of these ideas to explain Gauss's law. Okay. So what does Gauss's law say? So Gauss says that the total electric flux through any closed surface is equal to the magnitude of total charges enclosed by that closed surface. What does it really mean? What goes try to explain us is that if there is a closed surface irrespective of the shape, it can be a circular closed surface. Okay, it can be a rectangular closer or it can be any arbitrary closed surface. We will see that okay, while doing the proof of this law. So, any arbitrary closed surface if you have then the total flux coming out of this closed surface will be exactly equal to what, how, what is the magnitude of charge present inside this closed surface. So, while explaining flux and flux density, we have already seen that if you have a charge, right? If you have a charge, maybe a plus q, okay, of magnitude plus q, the flux lines will be radially outwards, something like this, the flux lines radially outwards. Now, to understand Gauss law, what should I do is, I should enclose this I should enclose this plus q by some closed surface. Clear? Now still the flux lines which are coming out okay, are these red lines. They are indicated by these red lines. right? These are the flux lines and they are coming out of this closed surface. So this, right? this total flux which is coming out of this, if you can calculate, that will be exactly equal to the magnitude of the charge inside this Q. In the sense, if you know how many flux is coming out of a closed surface, you will exactly know that is the total charge inside this closed surface. Remember, usually number of flux lines and number of charges is not directly related. If you have watched my video, thoroughly then you will not have this doubt but that is the previous video but see I will explain it again Gauss's law never say number of flux lines is equal to number of charges what it says is the total electric flux is equal to magnitude of charge or I can say total charge so total flux is equal to total charge that what it means it is not total number of electric flux equal total number of. So, we will not be using number of flux lines okay, to prove this law. Number of flux lines. We will be using strength of flux lines. Because, just, because in the previous video we have seen that the strength of the field depends upon number of flux lines. So, instead of directly using or counting number of flux lines, we will be using the strength or basically we will be using the idea of flux density to explain Gauss's law. Keep that apart before knowing how to prove Gauss's law, first you should understand properly what is Gauss's law. Right. So now somebody should ask me that this plus q, what is this q? Can this q always point charge or whether it should be a point charge is a question. Can this Q represent a line charge? Can this Q represent a surface charge? 
and can this q represent a volume charge because at this point of time you already know that charges exist in any such forms yes exciting that is true so this q inside this right this q inside this closed surface can be any charge when i say from point charge to volume charge so it can be anywhere between that okay it can be a point charge it can be a line charge it can be a surface charge it can be a volume charge so ultimately what you have to understand is you have a bunch of charge somewhere you close it using a surface you have a closed okay you have an enclosure maybe a sphere okay so that you can imagine better you get an idea better okay so let let us let us enclose that by a sphere then if you can calculate the how many flux lines coming out of this sphere you will get an idea the how many or what is the total charges inside that sphere okay assume that this you cannot see what is inside the sphere uh, it's an opaque sphere opaque surface for example then you will be interested to know what is the total charges inside i cannot open it you are not allowed to you are not supposed to then what you will do sir give me some time i'll just calculate what is the total flux around it or there are how many flux lines coming out of this closed surface then i'll tell you there are how many charges inside or i'll tell you what is the total magnitude of the charge which is inside my closed surface is it very clear so mathematically we represent this as psi is equal to q psi is equal to q what is psi electric flux what is q total charge so the total flux psi is equal to total total charge q this is gauss's 